Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to understand about the Python module. It is an important topic from a developer perspective also because whenever you will work in a production environment, right? There this Python module will help you a lot. So you should know about the module. So let's understand the Python module. So I have one of the scenario. Let's understand the scenario. Then we will come to the practical part where actually we use a Python module. So let's understand with the scenario. Suppose you are a developer and you are working in one of the application you are working in one of the application and this application you are building in a python file so what actually you will do generally you will create a a.py python file in that python file only you will write a different kind of the function you will write a different kind of the classes you will declare different kind of the variable based on the business scenario so whatever the business problem we are solving right based on the scenario what actually we will do we will try to create a different function we will try to create a different classes and the variable and we will try to solve the problem now over a time whenever you will work in a production environment right you will observe you will work on the different kind of the functionality now suppose you are working on the different kind of the functionality and you are using the same file so over a time what actually it will happen your code will grow a lot now suppose you are keep on working on the same file and you are writing a different kind of the code and suppose it became a 1000 line of code you have written now suppose anywhere it is failing anywhere it is failing you are getting an error now from debugging perspective also it will be very difficult to because you have to read 1000 line of code because all the codes are available into the single a.py file only. So in this case what actually happening my code is keep on growing and in this case my whatever the file whatever the code I have written right that become unorganized that become unorganized because I have created a single file and all the code actually I am writing into the same file itself and it's it will become a difficult from a debugging and from managing perspective. So instead of writing into the same file what actually we can do we can use a module concept so what is module concept you can create another file i can create another file b.py and some kind of the functionality i can write into this particular file what actually i can do i can create one more file b.py and here i can write a few lines of the code and whenever we require this right b.py whatever the code functionality we required we can use a module so what actually we can do we can import that particular file and we can use whatever the functionality I have written into this particular file. So that is the use of the uh, module. So what actually we can do instead of writing the same code in one single file what actually we can do we can break it and we can create a multiple files and whenever it's required right we can import it with the help of the module. We can ha help of the module. So that is the concept of the module. Let's do a practical we'll get a better idea. So I hope you understand about the scenario. Now in a Python we have a few inbuilt function also available from a module perspective. I will give example of one of the module that is a math. So how actually we import a module we write a import and whatever the file name or like module name. So in this case we have an inbuilt math. This math is nothing but a, this is a module one of the module. So this is an inbuilt Python function. So here what actually happening in Python itself they have written one file in that file all the kind of the maths related functionality is written on that particular file. Now whenever uh, we have to call right what actually we will do we will import math and suppose you have to uh, do a square. So what actually square root you have to find out. So if I will do math dot square root 4 so you can see I am getting 2. Similarly if I have to find out math dot factorial factorial 5 if I will do I will get the 120 means all the maths related functionality is written into this maths file and whenever we require it what actually we are doing we are just importing and with that importing we are just calling the method and we are getting the output. So that is the use of the module and this is a very much important also. But in this case whatever we have taken example right this maths is the inbuilt. Now how actually we can create our own file and how actually we can use let's try to understand. So what actually I will do. I'll create one file. So how actually we can create a file? I'll come to my uh, folder. Uh, I'll click on the new. I'll create one file, new file, and I will give the name as a module.py. Any name you can give. Let's give a.py. So this is the file actually I'm creating. Uh, make sure you are writing into the .py. .py is a Python extension, and whatever the Jupyter we use, right? That is a IPYNB. So don't use IPYNB. We use a a.py. 
now this is the particular file I have created now let me open this particular file and I'll write few functionality so suppose let me write a, a one function here so I open this a.py I'll write one function uh, I'll give the name as a addition this addition what actually will do it will take a three input or four input and what actually it will do it will return a multiply uh, let's do a multiply no, a plus b plus c plus d so i created one function addition and it is doing the sum similarly let me create another uh, function uh, a multiplication something multi i'll give multi name and what actually it will do it will multiply a into b into c into d now let me create a few variables also let me create a variable name as a e equal to the 10 so i have created a function i have created a uh, one variable also let me save it so now what actually happening i have a, this particular file a.py here i have written few lines of the code i have written few lines of the code now what actually I have, I have to do this particular a.py right i have to call into my this particular notebook because i want to use it like this maths module so how actually i can do i have to import right so i will write import what is the file name file name is a right so i will write import a here what actually we were doing import math right but what actually my file name is a so what i will write import a now after that what actually we can do whatever the functionality is available into this particular file right like addition is there so i can call that particular method so if i will write addition and if i write four 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 thing we have to pass right parameter if i'll do this it is giving me one error what is the error it is saying a return so you can see in a.py right this spelling is mistake so let's correct this it's a return it's a return let me save it again so now if i'll execute this you can see what actually it is doing it is doing the sum of this all now if i'll do a dot multi multi is also function which is available right into that particular file let me see what is the uh, what is the name multi so if i'll do a dot multi and if i'll pass four parameter one three four five what actually it will do it will try to multiply all these four so what actually i have done i have created one file there all the functionality actually i am writing now this particular file whatever the functionality is available into a right i can call anytime with the help of the import module i can import that particular file and i can use the functionality so that is the use of the module in a python itself we have a different kind of the inbuilt module available like maths we have a os uh, we have a random so these are other things are already available but suppose you have to create your own file and you have to call so you can call it like this so now in this a right we also declare one variable e so if i'll do a dot e you can see i'm able to call the variable also means whatever the class whatever the variable whatever the function you are written into this particular file right you can call here with the help of the import so i hope you got the idea please do practice you will get a better idea